All right, so this rotation stuff, <clears throat> a lot of people get a little confused by it because uh, they just, maybe they can't see very well on how this is working, all right? So we'll see if we can do this right, and hopefully you can see how this works, all right? So we start out with these points up here, A, B, C, and D, and we've graphed those, and we've graphed also the rectangle, uh, but then it says to give this rectangle a 90-degree clockwise rotation. So clockwise, uh, some of you may remember, if this is my clock, I've got a point right here. If this is one of the hands, it's going to move in this direction. So that's clockwise, okay? Um, all right, so let's look at this, okay? So let's go ahead and start rotating this. And I'm going to try to do this uh, slowly so you can see how this works, all right? So it says that this is going to rotate about vertex C, okay? And in addition to that, I'm rotating it to the right, okay? Because it's clockwise. And you'll see how those points move, all right? Now, uh, my end product may not be exact, but it'll be very close. And you'll see that these points are all going to lie uh, on very nice coordinate pairs, okay? All right, so here we go. All right, so let's see how this looks, okay? So I'm going to take this and rotate it. It's 90 degrees, so it'll be about right there, okay? Now, uh, what we need to do is figure out where all those points went. Well, you may notice that C and C prime are the same point. That's because we rotated at 90 degrees about that vertex C, okay? Uh, but where are all of the other points? Well, if we were to trace these, we could see that A moved right here. So now this is A prime. B would have moved around over here to this point right here. So this is B prime. C is there, so that leaves us with D right here. And you could see that that would come around over here. So that's D prime. So C and C prime are the same point. Now what we need to do is find the coordinates of these now and uh, we can see then that let's go ahead and list these first all right we'll start with a which we can see is at one and it looks like it's up one two three four five six so b will have the same height uh, but it's at negative two there c is in the same place it's still at negative two one and d it looks like that's at 1, 1. Okay, so we've graphed this as it asked us to do. We've graphed the image, and then we've given the coordinates of the vertices. All right, so this is just uh, when we rotate about the origin, okay? So pay attention to when it's asking for this kind of stuff. In the last example, we were rotating about a point on the rectangle. In this case, we're rotating about the origin, all right? Now, uh, it's important to remember about uh, how these create a perpendicular relationship, okay? Uh, because in ninth grade, you're going to need to know that. So let's go ahead and look at this first one, the 90-degree rotation, all right? So in symbols, it's given you this right here. Uh, so let's go and look at an example of this. Uh, and we'll just look at uh, a point. So let's say that we have the point uh, hmm, 3, 2. Okay? And it says to rotate this 90 degrees about the origin. So after the rotation, as it turns out, we don't even need the picture. All we need to do is, you can see here, what happened with, with these symbols. Well, the x now is on the right, so since our x was 3, we're going to move it to the y position. And the y position now moves to the x position, so it's the x is 2. And notice down here that the y stayed the same, but the x changed its sign. So as it turns out, that 3 is a negative, and that would be the point now rotated 90 degrees about about the origin. Uh, now, yes, this is uh, clockwise rotation, so you have to pay attention to that as well. Let's go, to, go ahead and look at another example here. So let's look at uh, 
uh, negative 5 and negative uh, 21. So we're going to rotate this 90 degrees about the origin. So we can see the x now is switched in the y as well, negative 21. But once again, the x changes its sign. So that would be a 90 degree rotation about the origin clockwise. All right, let's look at a 180 degree rotation about the origin. So let's look at some examples. And we'll point out that you can see that the x and y's remain in their positions in the coordinate pair. The only thing that's changing here is the sign. So let's start with uh, this example. We'll go with uh, negative 7 and 3. And after 180 degree rotation, this one does not matter if it is clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay, so keep that in mind. We have a 7 and a 3, but notice up here the 7 is negative, so it's positive. And the 3, which was positive, now becomes negative. And that's 180 degree rotation. Let's go ahead and look at another example here. So let's take uh, two numbers. Let's take uh, 5 and negative 4. 180 degree rotation about the origin. We're going to have the same numbers, just the signs are going to change, okay? So where this 4 was negative, it's positive now. Where the 5 was positive, now it is negative. So I'm going to point this out as well. 270 degree, this is a clockwise rotation, is the same as a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation, okay? So keep that in mind as you look at these examples, okay, because, uh, and you can see this on this graph, this is 270 degrees clockwise, but it's also 90 degrees counterclockwise, okay? So, let's look at some examples. Let's start with, uh, maybe we'll start with a double negative, like a negative 1 and negative 10, okay? After a 270 degrees clockwise rotation, what we have now is notice the Y uh, is now switched over to the front. So now that's 10, and the sign changed, right? This was positive, now it's negative. In this example, it was negative, so it's going to change its sign to positive. The X, however, stays the same. It's still negative 1. Let's look at another example. Okay, let's look at uh, two positive numbers like 22 and 76. All right. After a 270 degrees clockwise rotation, uh, yes, those numbers are going to switch. So the 76 is in front, but since it was positive, it is now negative. But the X remains the same. So I've graphed these points, and uh, yeah, we could use the graph to rotate these about the origin, but uh, we'll do that in a second, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and use just um, the technique we went over when we just look at the points and see how they change. Okay, so since this is a rotation of 270 degrees counterclockwise, okay, that, that means it's a 90 degrees clockwise rotation, okay? Uh, we can find these points without having to graph them, find them, and then graph them, okay? So uh, let's look at, we'll have M prime, N prime, and so forth. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this. So again, we're just switching all of these values here, the X's and the Y's, but the difference is that the X value is going to change its sign, okay? So, let's go ahead and switch all of these, let's get them written in, then we'll switch the signs. Alright, so we have those written in, now we just need to switch the signs. The X values are switching their signs. So, 
now instead of uh, the x value up here, as you can see, it was positive, and we'll make it a negative where it is. And of course, it is in the y position. Same with these other ones. We're just going to change the signs of all these x values that are now in the y position. Now that we've done that, we are ready to graph. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that will look like. All right, so there's my point. Right, so let's go ahead and rotate this and see how we did. All right, and you can see there that those points have connected to where we had graphed our uh, image points, okay? And yeah, if we to rotate this back, you can see that it's good right there as well. That's good right there as well. So that's a good example of how you can see that uh, just by changing those around, the X's and the Y's, and then changing a sign appropriately, how that will work, okay? Because uh, we, we could graph those points, and then we had rotated the shape and found that we were good on that, all right?